Stevens. Hi, I'm Rosemary Robinson, and today we'll be talking about renewable energy use in the state of Nevada. Right. Uh, this is our IB video project, and today I'm here with my colleagues Kaylin and Sylvia, and they will be interviewing uh, Julian Zlotter and Lincoln Robinson. How can people be more energy conservative at their houses? That is a great question. Uh, solar panels help. Uh, easy things like unplugging appliances that you don't use every day, your toaster, if you only have toast once a week, it doesn't really stay plugged in. Turning off the lights when you leave, turning off the water when you're sudsing your hands and then turning it back on to rinse. Um, there's lots of different appliances you can buy that are more energy efficient washers and dryers and then those squiggly light bulbs are really good. Uh, Over time, uh, everybody produces better because of programs like the EPA Energy Star that in, uh, encourage you get an uh, icon on the, on the store that makes you want to buy things. And it's hard, you could not sell a, a cathode ray tube television anymore. Right. Besides the fact that it's three feet deep, to get a screen, it uses a hundred times the amount of electricity as an LED screen. It would be ridiculous to do something like that. It, without forcing being energy conservative, we're going to become more energy conservative just because the products have to be that way to compete with each other. Um, some big projects, my favorites, are insulation, which you've mentioned before, uh, better windows and doors. Um, I love reflective insulation, like spraying the underside of a roof in the attic with foil, or actually taping up uh, maybe an insulating foil. Then the heat, tri radiant heat, tries to get into the house, bounces back out before it's even there. Or, yeah, radiant heat from your house bounces back into the house in the winter instead of exiting through the roof. Um, when you get into thermodynamics in college, uh, you'll, you'll learn about all the methods of heat transfer. So, I don't know, the, the best way to be conservative is do stuff you're already going to be, do, be doing and make slightly more efficient choices. Mm -hmm. And then you can get into big projects and have a lot of fun with it as much as you want, collecting yeah. rainwater. Yeah, collecting rainwater would be good. Um, yeah, it, it, you can do as small as, like I said, unplugging an appliance or as big as redoing the entire house to make it more energy efficient. I know that a lot of homes, especially here in Reno, are old. My house is from the 1930s, and we went through it all. And we replaced all the windows and doors and insulation and all that, because otherwise, they just didn't know back then. They kind of, it's well built, but it's not quite sealed. Yeah. <laughs> not quite sealed, yeah. Air leaks, that's a big deal. Yeah. Warm air just slowly disappearing. You have to replace it, and it's carrying energy with it. They say in a drafty house, the entire space of the house, all the air inside, will completely change uh, three times a day with leaks and drafts. And so if you imagine a house-sized air bubble leaving your house and a new one coming in every six hours. And you have to... And you're paying to heat that air, that. and it just goes right out the door. It's, it's a big waste. I, you can find endless ways, easy ways to conserve energy. I'd suggest searching, googling, energy saving in the home, and you could probably get a hundred, hundred links with a hundred lists. 